They interview this thing. We're going to shoot six TSS loads out of this Mossberg SA-28 with the Kicks Goblin Thunder Joke. This is Adrian with the Read This Thing, and we're out here doing another pattern test video with this awesome Mossberg SA-28. We still have it topped with our Burris Fast Fire 3 with the Meadow Creek mount, and we're shooting the Kicks Goblin Thunder Choke. There we have six TSS loads we're going to shoot at 40 yards. There's a mixture, some nine, some nine and a half, and then there's a blend in there. Just trying to get a, a good look at them, see how they shoot out of this choke, and hopefully decide what we want to hunt with. Let's see how they do. We're going to get this party started with our Salt Creek ammunition. Keep in mind, we haven't shot this choke yet, so this gun isn't sighted in for it. We have a cool turkey target, but we're mainly going to just find our densest 10 inch and 6 inch circles and count those up. Let's go. Okay, let's go check that target. Looks like that load is shooting a little bit high with that set up. But scooch that down, and there's quite a few pellets right there in the turkey's head, so. I'm bad for our first one. Let's go count them up. First load down. Six inch circle, 79, 166 in a 10 inch. Not sure why I put nine inch. Okay, now we are gonna shoot our Viper ammunition. They should look pretty familiar if you've watched our other videos. Since that one was high, I'm gonna go ahead and aim a little bit low on the rest of them. Alrighty, pretty impressive from here. Let's see how it looks when we're closer. Man, that is very tight. I aimed lower, I aimed actually pretty close to where that most, uh, most of those are. So it actually might be sighted in pretty decent for that load. Wow, I'll be interested to see what those numbers are. Man, that is a lot congregated right there. Not too shabby, 214 and 348, which is pretty doggone good. There's a whole lot right there in that little spot right there at its neck. So it definitely would have done the job. So that was a really tight pattern out of those Viper. I'm really interested to see how these Foxtrot nine and a halfs are gonna do. These are new to us this year, but they've done really well. So let's see how it likes this combo. That one was pretty well on. Um, I'll aim a little bit lower than the first one, but not quite that low and see how this one hits. Let's check it out. Aimed probably about right there. So that's pretty awesome. Definitely interested to see what these numbers say. That looks like a really even, evenly dispersed batter. So 139 in six inch and 282 in a 10 inch. The interesting thing, I'm pretty sure this is a 505 constriction choke. And it's just cool to see how different loads like different constrictions. Cause we've done a lot of 520, I think a 525. So very interesting to me. Moving right along, we're gonna shoot this Apex Greenleaf Special Edition, which is a duplex load. So far it has done pretty well. So we'll see how it likes this kicks choke. Ooh. It's kind of hard to tell, but it looks pretty dang impressive from here. Looks like there's a whole bunch of uh, pellets in the head. Let's go see. Wow, that definitely looks sighted in pretty well perfect. It aimed about where I would want to. And man, that's pretty. Let's count up and see what this uh, Apex blend did. So far, this Apex blend has been pretty impressive. We got 227 in a six inch and 372 in a 10 inch. Of course, there are gonna be more pellets because of that 10 shot factor, but still, that's a, that's a very evenly dispersed pattern as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and send our verdict downrange. For a number nine shot, which is bigger and there are fewer, it's actually been pretty competitive with our nine and a halfs. So we shall see if it likes this kick choke as well. Man, that one looks pretty doggone good too. Let's go see. Another pretty side showing from our verdict. It's a 
that one uh, is shooting a little bit high compared to the others, but this choke seems to be doing really well. And so 129 in our six inch and 232 in our 10 inch. And verdict is one in our other tests that seem to like a little bit larger constriction. Make sure you check all those out. And now we are going to shoot the Rogue nine and a half. If you watched our one video, you know they have three different loads in 28, but we're gonna go with the nine and a half in this test. Man. That's birdie. Let's go see. Yeah, we'll see what those numbers say, but golly, that's a that's a bunch of them right there. There's really hardly any outside of that paper, so aimed well, sighted in well, and man, look at that. This load seems like that constriction just fine. So we have 231 in our six inch and 385 in our 10 inch, which I'm pretty sure is the most so far. So yes, that's already six loads, but because that Apex blend did so well and the Vipers did so well, I actually have a Viper eight and a half, nine and a half blend. I haven't shot it out of anything yet, so Maybe it'll really like this choke. Let's find out. Looks decent. Let's go see. There it is. Looks pretty well sighted in, pretty decent. There's a few extras over here compared to the right, but eight and a half, nine and a half. Let's see how it is. So that duplex eight and a half, nine and a half had 129 and 282. Definitely seems to be deadly. So this Mossberg SA28 continues to amaze me. We had three loads over 300, like remarkably over 300 at 40 yards on the 28 gauge. If you hunt with the 28, comment below and let us know your setup. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate all the likes and the comments. And if you really like what we do and you haven't yet, Go ahead and subscribe. But as always, thanks for watching. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching our Mossberg SA28 Kicks Choke Test video. While you're here, like it, share it, comment, tell your friends, subscribe if you haven't. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, friends, go wild. And then check out our hauler store and our Amazon storefront. And go to ReviewThisThingTV.com, sign up for our newsletter.